Hey guys, good morning. Okay, so this is, I thought, unique. We are doing a peacock today. This is a request from Kate from Iowa, and she wanted to name this peacock Lily. So I didn't do the traditional peacock that is behind. I went this route. So uh, Kate, I hope you guys like this peacock. So first we're gonna start at the top of the head. Make sure there's enough room because we're gonna put these little plumes at the top. You're gonna start with a smaller size circle. And then below it, we're gonna do a bigger size circle. So we're gonna have a bigger circle and a smaller circle. And then I want you to connect these. So this is this is gonna be this part. So we want to smooth out. So you wanna smooth, go into here. See how it's connecting like that? So it's nice and smooth. This one is gonna come up, but we're gonna actually, that's gonna be the beak there. So this one's smooth. This one's gonna straight up. Do you see that? Now you guys can erase right in there. Stay tuned, got some fun facts today. All right, so let's do the little plumes at the top. We got some great feathers coming out. So I have one, two, three, and on the end, we're gonna make egg shapes. And we'll do the beak on it. So the beak's gonna come right off of here, bring it back in. Now we're gonna make it have a little lump here. See that? Now you guys can erase inside there. Now there's a park in Southern California, it's called Irvine Park, and they have got tons of peacocks. They just roam around the park, they're so beautiful. All right, now we've got the head part. Now we're going to do this little back area. Do like a rainbow, and you want to erase in there. So let's get rid of that rainbow. I mean the bottom part. You see how it's coming along? And we're gonna give it Two feathers right here, just decorative. Now, let's make another rainbow. And inside this one, I just made it kind of decorative, kind of like a nice piece of artwork. This represents all their little feathers. Great job. Now we're gonna do this nice, gorgeous tail. So I found out a tail, this beautiful tail, is actually called a train. So this is this train. Now we might have to like sketch this a few times just to get it just right. I'm just gonna fill up this whole space. You can make yours as wide or as, th as small as you want, but that's my train. I might even come out here and make it a little bit wider just for why not, because they've got such beautiful trains. Now inside, I'm gonna be making a bunch of eggs. So you're just gonna start off making some eggs. I go around a few times just so I can get that nice egg shape. And you're just gonna fill up this whole space with our large egg sizes. This is the feathers. I'm gonna put another one right here. You can fill it in however you want. Let's see if I can fit one more in there. Okay. I'm going to be curving my eggs a little bit here. This egg is a little cattywampus. So we're just going to curve it more. Now, if you see, I did not sharpie inside the feathers. I just wanted to make it look more just beautiful. I might make some smaller ones so I can fit more in here. All right, so now I'm gonna go around the outside and kind of give it a shape of it. So you can just come around. I'm just gonna make it look like this. Great job. And I will not be sharp, I'll be sharpening. And I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna give it lots of scalloped edge here. Great job. So you're gonna end up going in there and you want to erase our line so you're just gonna see feathers coming out.
They do not fly long distances, but they do fly. They can fly up on roofs of houses, on tree limbs, and they like to be able to see it all. So now what we're gonna do with each one of them, inside you're gonna put a smaller egg on the top part and an even smaller egg here. So this is gonna be, I'm gonna outline it in black pencil. Then I'm gonna put orange, yellow, and blue. So go through. Let's get in here and do all of our, so giant circle, medium circle, little circle. Medium circle, little circle. Great job. So these are some fun facts I learned today. So we call all peacocks peacocks, but actually only the male is called peacock. The female is called peahen. So there's a peacock and a peahen. And together they're called peafowl. So that's the, the real word for them. Once we put color in these, they're really gonna look beautiful. Wow, I didn't make this one very big at all. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Fantastic job. Guess what time it is? Sharpie time. So we're gonna go around our peacock. Now don't go around any of those beautiful colors in there. We're just gonna use colored pencils. If you want to, you can. I just did it like this and I didn't wanna ruin it. So um, I didn't sharpie in there. And I think it looks great like that. So when the birds are domesticated, these peacocks and peahens, they can live up to 50 years. Wowie zowie, it's a long time. But in the wild, usually about 20 years. And we all know it's because it's a lot of crazier things out in that wild that can get them. All right, we're gonna go around the top here. Super. All right, so I'm not going to color in there, but I am going to give it one more outline just on the outside. Just to give it a nice finished look. Don't go the inside, not just the outside. Great job. What else do we know? Males. So the peacock are twice as big as females, which are the peahens. So they're big boogers. So usually at this time after I Sharpie, I go and erase, but I am only gonna, I'm not gonna erase in where I've done my decorative. So I don't wanna lose where I've drawn, but if you want to take your eraser and just go around the spots that you can erase, you can do that. Perfect. Excelente. Looking good. Now I'm going to go in. Let's start with the head. So these are the colors I'm using today. So I've got black, yellow, a, like a forest green, a nice blue, an orange and a dark blue. So let's start with our yellow. So we're gonna color in here. Start with the yellow in there, yellow in here. And then we're gonna color, this part is all gonna be yellow. So we're just gonna go in and do all the yellow first. Crank it out. I think this one might be a good 
fridge art, definitely. Definitely needs to go up on that fridge. And let's see what else we know. Mm, well, we already know that the large colored tail is called a train. When peacocks are born, they do not have a tail or a train. It takes, how many years do you think it's gonna take for them to grow that? One year, two year, three years, three years. It takes three years to grow this. So little baby peacocks don't have these. So I guess if you're gonna see a little one, you're gonna know it's definitely younger than three if it doesn't have one. And to impress the peahens, we all know that the peacocks, they flail out their feathers to display them. And, it all, and they also make loud noises. That's how they start mating. Kind of scares off the other, the other peacocks and says, I am showing off for this little peahen. Making loud noises. I've heard them at the park in California. I would do it, but it might scare you. Well, maybe. They're kind of like that, really loud. No joke. Yeah, that was a gift from me to you. You're like, please don't do that again. Okay, I will not. We're almost done with the yellow. Bam, bam, bam. This one has lots of colors today. All right, now let's take the orange. That is not orange. We're gonna go around. It's beak, bill. I'm gonna give a little extra color at the top here. Look at that. Ooh, I like how that just makes it look it looks good. And I am gonna go around the outside of these a couple of times. Great job. So I guess if I, I love birds. I guess if I had to be a bird, I might want to be a peacock. I don't know. First it was an owl, because I love owls, but I don't know. Well, a pair would be pretty cool too, because then I can out talk to people. I don't know, can we do like a crossbreed? I have a parrot, owl, and oh, a parrot, owl, and a uh, peacock? Yeah, that might be kind of scary. Because they all are very different. So if I had my choice, it'd be one of those three. Great job. Okay, so now you're gonna go in with your light blue and we're gonna color in the next one. You can go around it hard and then color it in. So go around it, oops, that's what happens. Sometimes you push too hard and then color in lightly. I'm gonna go around hard, light, hard, light, This one might take a bit longer to do, but I think it's gonna be worth it in the end. Definitely. Definitely. So good suggestion, Kate from Iowa. You're starting to get a little tired. <laughs> it happens. Okay, so now let's get that dark blue and let's just color all in that circle. And this you can just do hard all around. Lots of pressure, just make it nice and bold. And these, when they are flared out, they look like eyes from a distance. Like a bunch of eyes looking at you. I'm gonna get you. You guys know what that's from? I'm gonna get you. I think it's Finding Nemo. Super duper. Ooh, the tail is coming along. I think the rest is just gonna come together really easy. Almost there, almost there. Okay, now I colored in this with the dark blue. So you guys can color that, go one direction. And then I'm gonna go along the edge a little darker and along my lines a little darker. Also, I did an ombre. It's dark blue up here. 
And as you come down, you're gonna go lighter and lighter. I'm gonna go into the light blue. So, light. Okay, now come in here with that nice light blue and we're gonna go the opposite direction. So we're gonna go up. Great job. Now go in there, now it's green time. This bright green. We're gonna go right in here, it's gonna be the green, and then the rest of it's gonna be green. And what I did was I made it darker down here and I kinda went up lighter. So I'm gonna go around my edge as dark as I possibly can. Oh, you know what I also did? If you want, you can take your black and go around all of these peacock colors. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going around. We're getting an ad for a shaving kit, which I'd probably say 90% of the people watching this do not shave. Okay, see how this is just by going around the outside, it's just gonna make it pop that much more. If you wanna use Sharpie, you can. I just was afraid to ruin it, so I just said, you know what? I'm just gonna go around the dark. Okay, we're almost done with the black. All right, black's done. Now you can do the green. The rest is gonna be green. I'm just gonna do it darker around the edges. It's gonna be hard to all go one direction when you have so many little imprints. So I understand if you can't, because I don't think I can either. I'm gonna do my best, but it's going to be hard because you're going in between some tight spots here. I love this peacock. Peacock named Lily. I actually like the name Lily. Lily's a very pretty name. I'm going to let you guys finish this. I hope you guys had a fantastic day today and go and watch one of my other videos. And if you have a suggestion, let me know. There we go. All right. We're going to let you guys finish this up at home. Have a super fantastic day. Catch you on the flip side.